What do you see? Three, three pennies. Uh, what else do you see? Uh, three heads, right? Flip them over. Now what do you see? Three tails, right? Flip them back over. Now what do you see? See three hoochie coochie girls? Huh? We ain't gonna see them for three cents. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs>be here with ironclad rc welcome back to the channel you guys a couple of brushless speed controllers here 40 amp speed controls a couple of brushless motor in runner out runner we're going to kind of do a comparison of the two some benefits of each uh, we're going to take a closer look at the size comparisons of these 40 amp speed controllers kind of hook them up to their own receiver at the same time run 3s through them then we'll have uh, run 4s through the outrunner because it's a 4s capable setup this is 3s and well yeah we'll just kind of do kind of a comparison type deal some of you guys may be looking at some 40 amp speed controllers for uh, some of your smaller projects not sure which one you want to use well i got gotcha. you <laughs> stick around stick around don't blink don't blink big b here with ironclad rc a channel will tinker test and tune everything Woo! let's get started here i got a ztw shark 40 amp esc this is a brushless esc speed controller uh two to four s capable uh water cooled has the water plate right on top all sealed up nice looking nice looking esc we all also have the sea king 40 amp water cooled two to three s capable four s capable 3s capable uh, it's got the water cooling plate lines basically the same design just a smaller package with the sea king uh, this one takes a little bit more voltage this one's a little bit more lightweight uh, i got the x team 2440 brushless in and runner motor 4500 kv with a water jacket <laughs> you can buy this combo on ebay i will include the link and I also have this Outrunner motor. Oh, shit. This is a 2835 4000 kV air cooled brushless motor. Water cooled, air cooled. Uh, that's going to be hooked up. That's a 4S capable motor. It's going to be uh, run with the Shark 40 amp uh, on 4S. This is a 3S capable motor, which will be run. With the sea king now i will include the, the links for these two these this is not a combo this is something i kind of put together but i'll include the links as well let's uh let's spool up the outrunner motor see what it sounds like and then we'll spool up the in runner motor we'll kind of feel for heat we'll also kind of just listen for it the torque how long it takes for it to get up to max rpms and uh yeah just kind of do a comparison all right so Give it trigger. Let's go full throttle real quick. Alright, so that sounds good. That's a nice sounding motor. That's, and, and I feel a lot of breeze, a lot of like airflow coming off these fans off the back of this motor. Let's listen to the end runner. Wow, that's a, a big difference in sound. Uh, this has like a, a high pitched buzz sound. That one has like a low sound. All right, now let's go full straight off the bat. Woo! So it, it actually sounds like it's like got up to max RPMs faster than the Outrunner motor. Let's do it again. Woo! Linear throttle. Blip. Woo! All right, now let's do the Outrunner. Let's do a linear throttle. This sounds like it's it's spinning more RPMs, which it probably is. It's maxed out on its uh, maximum threshold with 3S. This is only rated for 4S, so we're not maxing this motor out. I got a 4S Venom Fly. Let's hook it up to this 40 amp ESC. It's rated for 4S. So, all right, now we'll see. This one's maxed out, and now this one's maxed out with its voltage. Let's see how they sound now uh, in comparison. <laughs> All right, let's go outrunner. Oh, oh, that rigger is going to fly with this motor now. Oh, that's the first time I've heard it on 4S. Listen to it. <laughs> the ZTW Shark 
40 and the racer star 2835 is a $60 combo that I put together the sea king 40 with the cooling jacket and brushless motor is a $50 combo really for what you're getting here uh, it's, it's not a bad value not bad so let's uh let's do it again because i like doing shit like this come on here we go Maxed out. Let's go fast. Oh man, whatever I decide to put this little one in, it's gonna haul ass. That's all I, that's all I know. Since we kind of run the motors, listen to the RPMs, kind of how they sound, let's do the ESCs, the speed controllers. Uh, let's compare the Sharp to the Sea King here. Um, and length. It's about, I would say, 25 millimeters longer than the Sea King. So the ZTW Shark is longer. Okay, you see, you see that? It's not much wider. If I had to guess, I would say maybe 3 millimeters wider than the Sea King. The Shark is much bigger. And uh, width, width wise, the ZTW Shark is probably about five millimeters wider than the Sea King. All the way around, it's a larger ESC, but it's uh, 4S capable, whereas this one's only 3S capable. All right, so the the Shark 40 is 2.6 ounces. The Sea King is 1.7. 1.7 ounces on the Sea King. So let's take a closer look at the construction of the two. They're heat shrink speed controllers with cooling plates attached under the heat shrink. One is open on the ends and the other is sealed. The open one is lighter, of course, because it don't have as much sealant <clears throat> to add weight to the speed controller. The open one has probably been treated with some sort of corrosion inhibitor. The sealed one probably has not. They've taken a lot of care to seal up the ends of the ESC so water does not get in. So be careful not to puncture the heat shrink on this ESC because it will get waterlogged. This one on the other hand will probably handle a little bit of water since it's been treated with a corrosion inhibitor a little bit bigger a little more power uh, yeah they got their pros and cons uh, the ztw shark comes with four millimeter but banana plugs and the sea king comes with 3.5 millimeters so that's basically traxxas connector and that's a four millimeter connector so yeah the shark is much bigger than the sea king it's about an ounce heavier about 30, 25 to 30 millimeters longer, five or six millimeters uh, wider. Take a look at our hoochie coochie. I mean, let's take a look at our brushless motors a little more in depth. Um, an outrunner motor of the same size, typically lighter than your inrunner motors, uh, but not in all cases. But typically, they're a little bit lighter than the than the inrunners and shorter than an in-runner motor. Uh, the, the outrunner motor is going to give you a little bit more torque than the in-runner. The in-runner is going to give you a little bit more RPM, higher RPM. An in-runner motor you can add fins to, you know, like and cooling jackets, uh, making it a little bit easier to cool than an outrunner motor. Most outrunner motors are equipped with like uh, cooling fins like this one here, which helps cool the motor down. Uh, boaters, boat guys, they use like cooling mounts, a motor plate that actually the motor bolts right onto the cooling plate and it is the motor mount to help cool the motor down in like tight consolidated places where there's no airflow. Uh, an inrunner motor, on the other hand, you can just hook up a couple water cooling tubes and uh, basically cool your motor down and it's very efficient. Let's get a weight on the motors. This 2440, 4500 4, KV X-Team weighs 2.7 ounces. The Outrunner 2845 
is 2.2 ounces. So this smaller motor is actually heavier than the outrunner motor. Okay, so let's get a weight without water jacket and get go motor to motor here. All right, so the X Team 22 millimeter is 2.1. And the 2835 is 2.2. So they weigh almost exactly the same. Uh, 22 and a 28. So I'll have links to both of these combos in the description. Like I said, I will. Um, it was just kind of a little comparison I wanted to do before I put the Shark and the Outrunner in the, in the rigger. I just wanted to do kind of a little comparison. Some of you guys might be kind of interested uh, in this kind of stuff. This is a 2868, 2240. All right. This is a 2868, 2835. All right. Yeah, I hope that was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, Channel World with Tinker, Test, and Tune. Everything. RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bells, and all the whistles for future builds, for future projects. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see you guys next time.